There we go. All right, and we are good. So um, real quick, spot check your area. Um, make sure you got nothing in the way. Move away your chairs, your shoes, your bags, whatever you got. Um, if you want to have a drink nearby, have a drink or get a drink, have one near somewhere, whatever. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So um, we're going to throw our super fast warm up. We're going to stretch. Um, today's going to be a bit more on the kick side of stuff. Um, I want to talk about pop kicks specifically, um, and then we're going to talk about uh, setting up your pop, pop kicks, getting in and out of them, uh, mostly just getting into them. Um, that's what we're going to do because it's going to be a big part of Friday's combo. So um, go ahead, get some room. Uh, we're going to do our 20 jumping jacks, 20 squats, and 20 toe raises two times through. Um, the second time you're going to do... 10 star jacks, uh, 10 jump squats, and 10 fast high jump toe raise, whatever you want to call them. Um, you guys know the drill. Let's get those done. 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10. Spread out, find a spot. Let's go. And then there's 20 jacks, so 20 squats is next. For the toe raises, you guys know the drill. Up fast, down slow. Give me 20 of those. And 20. Good. For 10, 10, 10, 10 star jacks, 10 jump squats. And then um, for the toe raises, I want the high bounce, high jump, whatever you want to call it, where you're just pushing up on the ball of your feet, all with the calves. All right, so we got 10, 10, 10. Let's get those done. Here we go. And that's 10. Perfect. All right, hopefully that's good enough for a warm-up. Uh, I'm already out of breath. This isn't looking so good. Real quick, I'm going to take my feet apart. I'm going to reach my hands way up. I'm going to take a deep breath. And I'm going to reach down to the middle. Exhale down, or exhale on the way down. Reach it through if I can. I'm going to take it to each side just real briefly. One side, the other side. And one more time, back down through the middle, kind of pull myself down. And I'm going to have a seat into my butterfly stretch. Right here. Oh, man, that feels good. Uh, if you need to, rock it side to side a little bit. Uh, oh, stretch out the back. Use the elbows, use the hands, something, push down the knees a little bit. Once you're real comfortable, take your chest forward. We are going to be doing some more kicks today. Um, again, if anybody's coming in, um, name of the game today is going to be pop kicks. Um, I want to set up our pop kicks um, because we're going to use that. We're going, to, we're going to talk about setting up pop kicks today, and then we're going to do a whole bunch of pop, kick, pop kicks with our combo on Friday. Uh, it's going to be a good time. I'm going to take one leg straight out, and I'm going to reach. You know, you get those hamstrings loosened up a bit. And let's go ahead and switch legs. And let's take our feet out, apart, both sides, 
and scoot yourself in and stay down in the middle. And you can kind of take it side to side a little bit while you're down here. Uh, we are going to reach over the top soon, but just feel this out a little bit. And set it back up. We're going to take one arm up and over, other arms down and through, and reach for those toes. And let's take it over to the other side. Other arm up and over. Oh, man, that feels good with the back. And let's bring it back up. One more time, let's take it down in the middle. See if you can scoot yourself just a little bit further. And take that chest down. And let's bring it up. Good. We're going to take it to our frog stretch super fast. Open up the hips just a tiny little bit. And once you're comfortable, push it forwards and rock it back once or twice. Try to pull those feet together and just feel the stretch. Good, and go ahead and bring your knees together. Let's take a child pose for a quick second, just to get that last stretch for the back. And we're going to go ahead and bring it up, um, hands and knees. Um, let's do our wrist stretches super fast. Um, we're going to be doing, I want to do some handstand drills today. Um, so let's go ahead and warm this up. I'm going to take my palms are flat, my fingers are facing you guys. And I'm going to rock it forwards and back a few times. I'm going to rock it like three times. So that's two. And it's the last one. There's three. I'm going to take my fingers and turn them outside. So they're facing the wall and the other wall. And I'm going to rock it back and forth two or three times. There's two. And three. Good. Now I'm going to flip them. My fingers are going towards myself. Rock this one back and forth. One. Two. And three. Good. Now I'm going to take my hands the whole way around. Face my fingers together. Rock it side to side. There's two. And three, good. Now I'm gonna flip my hands. I'm gonna start with my palms face, or with my, my palms are up and my fingers are facing myself. I'm gonna rock it forwards and backwards. Two, and there's three. I'm gonna take my palms, or my palms, my fingers facing each other and rock it side to side. Good, and now my fingers are facing you guys. Rock it back and forth. Good. And now I'm going to turn them the whole way. My fingers are out. Eagle. And rock it side to side. These are definitely good if you're if you're drilling cartwheels, um, handstands. Uh, we'll go ahead and sit up, roll the wrist out. Give me a worm, give me a snake, give me a shake, whatever you got. Um, if you're doing anything that's going to be real hard on the wrist, uh, doing those is amazing. Um, I know I've had uh, problems with one wrist in the past, and doing those at the gymnastics place, um, that like made a world of difference. Um, let's go ahead and stand it on back up, and real quick, one more time, I'm going to reach my hands up. I'm going to take a deep breath, and I'm going to reach it down, and exhale. One last stretch. And let's go ahead and bring it up. Good. All right, so... Um, let's go ahead and get warmed up a little bit. Um, we did our like leg warm-ups and everything. So let's take it to, uh, let's start with our kicks. Back leg round kick, reverse hook kick. Um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You guys know the drill. Um, I'm going to set a time where we got like, I do. I want to do a minute of these. Um, just because we're going to need a little bit more kicking today. Um, so start these slow. Uh, again, keep them low until the hips are warmed up. Uh, just because we are doing a decent amount of kicking. I just want everybody to be warmed up. So we got a minute in three, two, one, and let's get these done. So back round, reverse hook. Oh, mine are going to start like belly button level today. Uh. 
We're gonna put some sneed, put some sneed, some speed, and some snap in it once you're warmed up a little bit. Or you can just combine them, have put some sneed in your kicks. A little bit of reach. Um, emphasize your chambers. You don't need the refolds as much, but try to pull up that chamber first. That's where you get that nice snap. The stick will make it look clean. And give me one more background reverse hook and done. Good. All right, so uh, let's do our cartwheels now. Uh, just side to side. Uh, give me five, give me ten. We're just gonna do it for like 30 seconds or a minute or something. Um, whatever you got, give me some cartwheels. Watch the ceilings, watch the pets, watch the walls, watch siblings. Uh, whatever you guys see, Christian carrying away the dog. I'm gonna move my water cup. All right, so cartwheels back and forth. Um, do them both sides, do one side, do both hands, do one hand, do uh, whatever you got. Do a round off if you want. Um, just give me some of these. Again, just warm it up, getting upside down. Do what you got. Ugh. Scrunch them up if you need to. Oh. There you go. Keep it up. Give me two more. You see every doing one or two. Nice, nice, nice. All right, good. And we'll go ahead and freeze right there. So, all right. Um, make sure you have a little bit of room. We're going to do our handstands. Um, what I want to do, if you got a nice wall that you can kick your feet up onto or walk your feet up, um, that's going to be perfect. If you want to do them freestanding, do them freestanding. Um, but what I want to emphasize is finding that balance point, all right? Getting to a good position that's gonna let you balance. So not, not dangling your legs, having them bent. Um, we're gonna try to point our toes, extend the legs just like you would for a nice round kick or something, but you're kicking both feet up. Um, and making sure that we're hitting a straight line because that's where you're gonna find your balance. As soon as you start arching, you start dangling the legs, your feet are going opposite directions, um, obviously that's where you start falling over. So if you have a wall, what I want you to be able to do is to kick up to the wall or walk your feet up the wall and then just kind of push off the wall just an inch or two where you can hold it by yourself. But if you start falling, you can kick back to the wall. Um, that's going to be good for kind of training. It's easy to find that balance point without having to kick up and down and kick up and kick down and kick up and all that. If you don't have a wall, if you're just doing a freestanding, um, I want you guys to try something. Uh, after you do two or three normal handstands where I kick up this direction, I want you to try to do a cartwheel and freeze in the middle of it into a handstand. Um, I've been trying this. I think it helps you find that balance point because our cartwheels um, are pretty vertical, right? It's You're already balanced the whole way through it. So if you can just kind of freeze frame and stop in mid cartwheel, you might accidentally be perfectly balanced in your handstand. Um, but before we do any of the wall stuff, before we do the cartwheels, let's just do like two or three normal handstands. All I'm gonna do is put my hands down, kick it up, meet together, bring it down, um, and reset. Extend the feet, work on trying to hit that straight line. If you got somebody there too, they can kind of look and tell you, hey, your, your feet are dangling, hey, your feet are apart. Um, hey, maybe your, your arms are at a weird angle, I don't know. Um, but let's just do some of these. Um, again, cartwheel out of it, roll out of it. If you start falling, be a little bit careful. Um, give me two or three more. And give me one last one. And we'll bring it down. All right, so now, um, if you have the wall, I want you to try that. All I'm gonna do, um, I, I'll show you, I'm gonna try to show you against this wall. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick up, put my feet up here, um, and then I'm gonna try to get my feet just off the wall just a tiny little bit. Um, I'm gonna think, hold on, I can't show you there. No, I gotta use this wall. If I use this wall, my feet hit the ceiling and I can just like brace myself between the floor and the ceiling, so it's kind of cheating. Um, so I'm gonna kick up here. My hands are like six inches away from the wall. I'm gonna kick up and maybe find the wall. 
maybe find the wall. There's the wall. And then I'm just going to try to get just a little bit off of it, bring my feet together, and try to find that balance point. Don't put holes in the wall. If you kick up, go slow. Try to reach for the wall with one foot. Um, if you don't, if you're not using a wall, what I want you to do with the cartwheel is I'm going to set right here. And as I go up, I'm just going to take it really slow and bend that front leg. And I'm going to kick more straight up than over. Lift. And try to find my handstand right there. All right, that just felt better than all my normal handstands. So I just want to see if it works for you guys too. Um, I think it's, it's easier to find that balance point, but it might not for you guys, and that's all right. I just want to try it. So give me a few, hand, few more handstands. Use a wall, don't use a wall. Use a cartwheel, don't use a cartwheel. I don't care. Um, work on that straight line. Find that balance point. Bring your feet together. Point toes. Extend it. Uh, try to make it nice and pretty. So here we go, a handful more. Then you can try some of both. I'm not going to tell you to only do one, only do the other. I'm going to do some of both here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this curve is so, so much better. Give me one more. If you're feeling the wrists, shake them out in between. Uh, just be a little weary if. You do think they're they're starting to hurt a little bit. And go ahead and freeze right there. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna get a quick drink. If you're finishing up your last one, go ahead. And it's time to move on to some pop kicks. So um, we've done a decent amount of pop kicking. Um, we, we did a whole class on the tornado kick variations. Um, this is going to be kind of similar. I'm going to steal some of those variations because um, it's all the same stuff that you can do with pop kicks. The only difference is your takeoff. In the tornado, I have that cheat takeoff where I take that pivot step and I kind of cheat my 180, 90 degree rotation, whatever. Um, and I'm able to kind of jump off of one foot into that. Whereas the pop, I've got to take this step and I've got to jump. Usually you're going to jump facing backwards. That's going to pull you around. Um, so you have two feet, an extra 90, 180 degrees of rotation, um, but we're gonna try to hit some of the same variations, and then we're gonna talk about um, getting, we're gonna do a few setups for pop kicks, all right? Um, ways to make them look bigger, ways to make them look real nice in combos um, that we're gonna use on Friday. So um, first off, let's just talk about the pop kicks. We got pop crescents, we have pop tornadoes, the pop round. If you're gonna go to the variations, You've got pop split kicks, you've got pop twist kicks, you've got pop 540, you got pop 720. Any of the cheat kicks, any of those tornado variations can be done from a pop as well. Um, you just kind of have to change up your hip rotation, your, your spotting, and a little, bit of a little bit of technique. So um, let's start super basic. Um, this is in tricking terms, this would be your pop three or pop 360. This is your pop crescent. Um, I like taking a step into mine. So if I start here, I'm taking that right foot over, set up here, jump, crescent kick down. Now this one, um, the three big variations that are like right off the bat you can talk about, crescent kick, landing on your other leg. You can crescent kick, land on both legs, or you can crescent kick, land on the crescent kick leg. Um, they're all pop threes. It's just different ways of landing. They're different landing stances. Um, so let's start with just these. Let's warm them up. Uh, you're going to give me like five of them. I'm going to go more in depth about um, the landing stance of this, but I just want whatever you got now. Take that step, pop it up. I want to make that big circle. Um, this should feel, I don't want to do these today, uh, which is my mistake, but it should feel like doing those circle swing kicks that we do in our warm ups usually. It's that same motion. I want to pop, my chest and the head should turn, and then all I'm doing, circle swing kick and down, all right? So with the jump, give me a few of those. Try to make them big. This kick is really easy to make look nice. Um, so if you got room to jump, jump, and throw your kick, uh, do that. If you don't have a little bit less room, give me a small jump, give me a small kick, whatever you can do. Um, give me a few of these. Let's get these done. Pop threes, whatever landing stance you got. Let's go. And the more, the more pull that you can put on that kick with that crescent 
um, shape, the easier it's going to be to get to that two foot landing, that one foot landing. Um, so think about how fast can you make that kick come across. You jump, twist, and pull. Um, again, I said like you're turning your chest and your head first. If you can turn even more and drag that leg behind and then suddenly untwist your hips, um, you're going to get some real fast, you're going to hear the kick go through the air. Uh, super cool, super fun. Give me one or two more. And try to extend that leg, point that toe. Again, this one is easy to make look big, so make it big. And let's go ahead and freeze right there. Perfect. All right, you guys are looking good already. So uh, let's take it one 90 degree turn, 180 turn further to our pop uh, tornado. Um, I just want to go through a few pop kicks real quick, and then we'll go more in depth, and then we'll set them up. So pop tornado. This is my step in, set up, turn, roll the hips to my round kick and down. Um, this directly goes into pop 540. This will kind of hit that hip position. I'm doing like a pop split kick, pop twist kick. Um, we're going to try to do that pop double round that we did with the tornado. Uh, I think I've never actually tried that one. I think it will be super cool if we pull it off. Um, we're going to get to the Fei Long as well, the crescent round kick. So this one is kind of a base for a lot of different things. So let's do these. Um, so the pop tornado, the pop round, pop reverse round, whatever you're going to call them. Up, twist, roll the hips, snap. A round kick, try to make it straight up and down. Try to at least have a little bit of angle. Chamber is important on this one because um, as you come around, if you got no chamber, it's going to swing. If you can try to pull it, that's where you get the nice stick off of it. Um, but you guys know your round kicks. So let's get these done. Um, pop tornadoes, pop reverse rounds. Give me a few of these. Um, yeah, let's go. And use the uh, uh, use your arms. As I said into this one, you don't have to force this jump with just your upper body and your your legs and your hips. Take that jump, pull the arms around. That's going to help you twist into these kicks. Um, that's how you get the cool rotation. Uh, we are going to talk about over rotating and just hitting some spins in a second too. Um, getting towards those more advanced kicks, um, but that's all going to use our arms. So get used to that feeling. Pull it up. Using the arms, snapping the kick through. Give me one or two more. There you go, last ones. Good, and go ahead and freeze. All right, so um, now what I want to do, I want to do those pop tornadoes, pop first rounds one more time, but what I want you to focus on, um, if you're in your forms, if you had the jump 360s, uh, I don't, I'm trying to think of which forms might have it, some of the black belt ones do, um, but where you're set, you're in some sort of stance, and you jump up and back, um, you emphasize pulling your knees up, all right, I want to focus on that part of the technique real quick, um, we're going to put no kicks into it, I just want to jump 360, landing on your left leg, uh, if you're spinning to the left, so it's going to be just like this pop round kick up, but I don't want to kick, I just want you to come around, but I want your knees both to come up. So I'm taking my step into this, pop, knees, and down. You see that? So both my knees come up, they're not in specific chambers, I just want the knees up, um, because we're going to get into kicking with both legs, and you're going to need that mechanic right there. So take that pop, it's pretty much just a pop 360, land that left leg, bring it up, and knees up. All right, use the arms, use the, uh, use the legs, push up the balls of your feet for that extra bit of jump, tuck the knees, use that spin. Uh, let's do a few of these. This is just going to be a good drill for moving on past your pop threes and your pop reverse rounds. All right, so give me a few of these. Get up, tuck the knees. And down. If you want to land two feet, good. If you want to land left foot, good. If you want to land right foot, sure. Uh, whatever you got. If you want to put a little extra spin and spin around facing the back again, sure. We're going to get there, but if you want a head start, you can do that as well. 
to pop up and down. All right, try to control that landing, make it kind of smooth. Give me one or two more of these. And last ones. And we're done. Good, man, I feel like a uh, ballerina coming out of those. Sometimes you get so much like twist, so much power, you land, you like got to spin a few times out of it. Um, all right, so now we're gonna use that. I'm gonna show you where that kind of, what it equates to. Um, so if we're doing this pop, pop kicks, if you get past that pop three, the pop crescent, um, where you're laying that right leg, if you want to get to those two legs, that's where you to tuck the knee up before your kick. If you want to get to your pop 540s, Mr. D's been doing them. He can tell you all about it. You got to get those knees up. When he does that scoop pop 540, he comes around and he can't just jump, leave this leg dangle and swing this kick up and around. He's got to pop up, get both knees to hit that hip turn and over. All right. So those knees coming up is giving you height. It's letting you chamber. And it's letting you spin more without putting your foot down. Um, so we're going to move on from that pop round. We're going to hit some of the variations. Because um, I think you guys are good in pop crescents. Um, we might do a few more uh, out of some kicks later. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, but I want to talk about moving on past the pop rounds, pop tornadoes. They give you more options. Um, anything from that tornado class is going to work here. Um, pop twist kick. So I hit that pop. I come up. Shoot that kick out to the side, that's one. If I wanted to do um, just the pop, tuck both legs up, shoot this leg out, kind of a late crescent, definitely doable. If I want to try to hit that split, where you pop up, this one goes out that way with the twist kick that way, um, definitely viable. Um, doing, we get the pop double round, where you come up, kick, chamber, kick. You've got, uh, you could do the phalong. The phalong is a big one that looks really nice. When I hit that pop, and I can do the pop crescent round, uh, that with the knees is really going to help too because I don't want to jump and have to swing, swing two kicks up. It takes a lot of hip um, flexibility. It takes a lot of twist in the hips. Um, it's a lot more technical. But if I can jump, get those knees up, kick, kick, it's going to make it look cleaner. It's going to make it look sharper. It'll be a little bit less small because you don't have to swing, but it's going to be a lot less mechanically involved. So we have those, double round, the split, the twist. Um, I think what else is the tornadoes. If you think of any other ones, um, feel free to do them. I want you guys to just play with your pop kicks. Um, I'm going to set a timer for like two or three minutes. Um, we're just going to do some pop kicks, all right? Whatever you got, however you want to variate it. Um, don't worry about doing any setups or anything out of it. I just want that step in, pop, and up, all right? Um, and then we're gonna do that. We're gonna talk about twisting more out of your pops um, to get to the bigger kicks. Um, we're gonna talk about pop 540 specifically and then do some slight combo work, maybe. Uh, mostly just ways to set up your pop kicks so you can feel cool. All right, so I got two minutes. Uh, pop kicks galore. Do what you got, do what you can. Try some of them, try any of them. Um, Go for it, all right? I'm gonna do some with you guys. I'm gonna watch some, um, play with them. If you wanna start, just crescent. Try to bring that crescent up. Chamber that round kick, ready for the uh, the phalong. Try to get to the two feet. Try to get to the double round kick, the split kick, the uh, single crescent, the twist kick. Any of those, if you just wanna do pop tornadoes, that's perfectly fine too. Uh, again, use that twist in the hips to pull those, if you're doing any of the crescents. That was good, Mr. D. I saw that one. That looked like a fail on to me. If you're doing any of the crescents, that looked like a lot of spins, Robert. Holy cow. Nice kick height, Christian. Just see who all I got. Nice crescent. If you're doing those crescents, remember, twist the hips out of it. That's going to give you a big crescent. give you that power. You'll hear your foot going through the air. There you go. Keep it up. Keep it up. We got like 40 seconds left. Um, play with them again. If you haven't tried one of them, try something. 
If you're comfortable working one, keep working one. Whatever you got. And give me like two more. And let's go ahead and freeze it right there. Nice jibe, nice jump, jibe, job, jump. Um, put all my words together today. Mr. D looks like he's kicking his garage ceiling. Um, all right, so that's your pop kicks. Um, some fun stuff you can do with them. Again, uh, there's not, I don't think they're as, you can't do as much with them as you can like tornado kicks, which is unfortunate, but pop kicks are great. Um, they help you get into um, eventually like your flips, your fools, um, any of your variated flips. Uh, because you're getting used to that, that turn, that twist, um, you're using the hips, you're using the upper body, you're chambering, you're kicking. Uh, it's a lot of mechanics that goes into these, so you guys are doing awesome. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and move on. I want to talk about like two or three more advanced pop kicks. Um, ones that like, they're not necessarily like, oh, they're definitely not impossible. Um, they're a little bit higher in level, a little bit more confusing, a little bit more mechanical to do, and you are getting a little bit more practice to pull these off. But I want to get you guys set up on them, so it's stuff that we can all work on. Um, one's me the pop 540, one's me the pop 720. Um, so the way this is going to work, pop 540, um, I know we talked tons and tons and tons about getting you guys 540s. Um, it's all about that hip turn, roll over to get that kick leg down. And it's going to be the same thing as this pop kick, but I want you guys to work that spinning more, right? It's more drill on jumping and controlling your spin, your spots, um, and landing safely than it is about getting a nice kick out. Uh, so for the pop 540, what I'm doing, I'm hitting that same jump, knees both tuck up, but then instead of spotting and kind of coming down here, I want you to jump and spot to the wall or to the side, my wall, your wall, whatever you got to the left and roll that hip and land this direction. I'm going to try to land on my right foot. Um, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to pop my knees come up right here, two feet. I'm going to spot over. I'm going to roll and I'm going to land. If I do it fast, it's going to look like a 540 off of two feet with no kick, which is all it is coming up over and down, all right? So you see my knees come up. I'm not putting any chamber, I'm not putting any kick out. All I'm doing is getting that rotation. Um, I'm spinning an extra 180, all right? And then take your fancy step out of it. So let's try a few of these. This is your pop 540 spin, technically. So if I start here, I wanna jump around and around, that'd be 540, 180, 360, 540, yeah. Mr. D's got a head start on this once you guys can catch up to him. So take that pop up. Take that spot to the left. Remember, that's what's that head turn is also your hips are gonna follow where your head's looking. Um, so that's where you're getting that extra rotation. So give me a few of these. Up, turn, and down. And watch my head on the ceiling. Keep one or two more. Again, pull those knees up. That's where you get that extra jump. Good, Christian, that was good rotation. Use the arms. Robert looking like a tornado, dude. The, the stripes on your pants emphasize that spin so well. It's so cool. All right, give me one more. Up, look to the left. Knees come up and set it down. That was pretty smooth. All right, so um, now, the next one, it's gonna tie right off of this one, right? Um, but I wanna make a, a tiny little tweak in our technique. So this is gonna be a pop 720. Instead of bringing my knees up so high, what I wanna do is only bring my left leg up. All right, we're gonna start there just to get the spin, and then I'm gonna challenge you to get both knees up. So, same 540 spin that we just did. When I pop, I'm only gonna bring my left leg up and I want to spot, well, I, I want to spot super fast, but then I want to turn my head to the left so I keep spinning. This leg's up, I'm going to keep spinning, and I want to be able to set it down, spotting um, 
the front where my target is with that left leg still up, all right? So it's gonna look like this fast. I'm gonna jump, left leg comes up, quick spot, look to the left, complete that extra spin, and look back front with that left leg still up. So I'm coming up and down, all right? Uh, you're gonna feel like Spider-Man probably, uh, which is a good thing. So pull that left knee up, spot, turn, spot, and down, all right? This is going to that 720 spin. This would be that hook kick. That's why we're emphasizing that left leg. Um, if we did our jump, my 540, which we just did is that right leg, my 720 would be that left leg hook kick. So work this spin. I will say this is much easier than a, the 540, all right? The pop 540 is gonna be a lot harder than the pop 720. Um, so some of you guys might be able to get this at least with a basic level kick and a good spin and be comfortable with that. Uh, we're gonna talk about going a little bit further into it in a few seconds, but let's get these done. So pop 720s, bring it up, chamber, spin, spot, and try to keep that leg up. Uh, be careful rolling your ankles. I don't want anybody falling too hard. Um, so make sure you're, you're ready to catch yourself. Make sure there's nothing that you're gonna land on bad. Um, and left leg up, use the arms twist, look to the left the whole time, because that's how you're gonna spin. Again, your hips, your shoulders, your chest, it's gonna follow your head, so use that. Hit that pop up and around. Give me a few more and then I'm gonna give you a little bit of challenge with this. Um, so if you're if you are uncomfortable with the, trying to get, we're gonna to go to both knees up, um, then you can keep working on this one knee. Actually, I want everybody to start with this one knee so we're all at least at a comfortable baseline together. So up, look to the left. I almost missed the floor somehow. And back. Give me one more. Good. Nice job, Mr. D. Good. And we'll go ahead and freeze right there. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring both knees up. So when I jump, I'm facing this way. Up. Both knees tuck up. I'm going to hit that same roll over with the hips like I did for the 540. And I'm going to try to keep that left leg up in a hook kick chamber-ish, ready to throw out a kick, all right? This is gonna be a cool kick. Um, this is a great start to it. It's not crazy hard to get the spin. Um, putting the kick in there is gonna be the most of the work, but if we can get the spin down, you guys are set. So take that pop up, both knees come up, roll the hips, look into the left, and try to land in a side kick-ish hook kick chamber um, give me a few of these. This is going to be your full pop 720 set, all right? Um, don't worry about a kick yet. Uh, we're going to get to that at a later date, probably. I just want to spin. So here we go. Let's do a few of these. Popping up. Both knees. Use the arms. Look to the left. Full spin. Spot. Chamber. All right. I think I got everything. Let's go. There you go. So give me a few of these. I'm going to get a drink and watch some. Be careful on your landings. As there's a lot of spinning. There you go, Christian. That was good. Good use of the arms. Nice job, Robert. I think Jacob jumped and landed out of frame. That looked like a good spin, though. Good. All right, let's do a few more of these. There you go. Good spin, Jacob. Good use of the arms. Just stick that landing down, all right? Focus on that right leg going down. Go ahead, give me a few more, one or two more. Good, and last one. If you got one. Good, and let's go ahead and freeze right there. All right, so real quick, I wanna take like two minutes um, this will wrap up class. Um, all I want to think about, all I want to talk about, do whatever is, um, oh, there's two things I want to do. Let me pick one of them. Um, okay, let's do, I want to do tornado and a pop kick. All right, I want to work that spin a little bit. Um, we're going to do cartwheels and a pop kicks on Friday. 
I'm going to talk about those before we get into our combo because it's something I do want to talk about, but I don't want to use too much time today. So, tornado and dirt pop kicks, all right? Taking that pivot step, I'm coming up. I want a normal tornado kick out of that kick. I'm going to kick across. It's going to set down right into my jump kick, all right? We're going to start with just jump crescents. Uh, they're pop threes or pop tornadoes, pop reverse rounds. Um, I want to start just there, no extra spins or anything. But tornado, as soon as that kick sets down, you're in your position. I don't want any shuffle footwork. I should be able to come up, kick, pop, kick, down. All right? Tornado and then pop three or pop reverse round. Um, give me what you got. Walk through it once or twice. Um, it's a little bit more technical. You just got to put them together. Um, there's no steps in between, no footwork. You're literally just doing one, set down, pop, another kick. So let's get these done. Give me a few of these. So tornado up, down, pop, kick. The pop round might honestly be a little bit easier since you already kind of spin out of that tornado. You're already almost overspun for a pop crescent. Um, but you can underspin your tornado to get that pop crescent if you wanted. It's coming up, kick, pop, down. Give me a fancy spin out, stick the landing if you want. Just give me a few of these, it's gonna wrap up class. I just want to touch on using a setup to these. Um, this does look super cool. As soon as you get into a little bit more spinning, a um, little bit more technical kicks, you can use your um, tornado variations too. Tornado split kick set down. Pop split kick looks fantastic. Uh, that's a little bit up there in level of difficulty, but it is 100% doable and it's 100% cool. Um, so give me two or three more. Whatever you got, throw in a variation if you want. Um, give me a tornado split kick into a pop split kick. Give me a tornado uh, or a tornado twist kick into pop twist kick is what I meant. Give me a tornado double round into pop reverse round. Three round kicks, two kicks. Um, whatever you got, give me give me that two leg the crescent tornado pop phalong. That would be super cool if you can double up on the variations. So bringing it around, I got one, two, one, two. That would look pretty cool. Um, give me one more, do something fun, do something fancy. Throw in a little bit of extra spin if you want. And it popped my arms. Cool. Good, that was a nice hook kick right there in the end of Christians. Good. And if you're all done, go ahead and freeze. That was good, Robert. Nice pop round. And if anybody's got one last one, go for it. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I think we're all good. All right, so that's all I got for today. Pop kicks, pop kicks, pop kicks. Um, again, Friday, we're going to use two pop kicks. I'm going to talk briefly about cartwheel and the pop kick because um, it's an awesome setup. Um, it helps you for getting closer to things like your round off back handspring, round off back tuck just to get that two foot jump and spin out of your cartwheels. Um, so it's gonna be a good drill for moving on to more technical stuff once we're back to um, AMA, back to gymnastics and everything. Um, but other than that, we're gonna be pop kicking, we're gonna be doing our tornado kick setup, we're gonna be doing our variation, um, we're gonna have a good time. So, um, have you got any questions, any comments, concerns, anything else, we're all set. All right, I think I am all good. Um, you guys keep up with the classes, keep working, keep practicing, keep stretching. You guys are doing awesome. And I think we are all set. You guys have a good day. Enjoy the weather. And peace out to everybody. Thank you for the bow. But yeah. All right, bye, everybody. And everybody on YouTube here as well. Um, peace out to you guys. I got nothing left to say. You all heard it. So you guys have a good one. Keep practicing, keep stretching, and keep being awesome.